Yeah, the ships, they play a huge part, of course. We have over 30 types of ships and we have many different uh, archetypes that you fight against. So we have small ships from, from gunboats to schooners to brigs, frigates, and then the huge man of war that, that is just like a, a tank on the water. So that's, it's been interesting from a standpoint of building them, trying to make them accurate while gameplay fun as well. And then also from a uh, AI standpoint, having, having some be very aggressive, some be slow, some be sort of cowardly. That's, it's been very interesting. Well, the Jackdaw, the player ship, has certainly received a lot of love. We've had artists working on that for the whole project. And that, you know, when you're fast traveling and you know, the camera, basically the Jackdaw takes up the whole screen almost. So we have to make sure it looks amazing from every angle and the detail's really nice. And has a lot of character as well. So we had to mix the art direction with, with the design intentions. Because also what's very important about our ships is that you can climb everywhere. You can climb the ropes, you can climb up the rigging, you can climb the masts. So you need to be able to correctly behave as well as look great. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, so for Assassin's Creed 3, we had already done a few years of research to make that, that ocean wonderful. But with Assassin's Creed 4, there's many more challenges. First of all, it's, it's on next gen as well. So we need to make sure we push the physics further, we push the visuals further, make it even more beautiful. On top of that, now you, you see the, the ocean from many different perspectives. That's an interesting new challenge that, that most, most listeners might not realize. But on Assassin's Creed 3, you're always at the ship's wheel, so you know where you're going to see the ocean from. But now you can be on top of a, a cliff looking down, about to do a leap of faith, or you can be swimming in the water, or you can be doing boarding another ship. And from every angle that you can look at the ocean for, in all the different conditions, sunny, nighttime, raining, it needs to look great in all of these conditions. So that took a lot of extra work, yes. Yeah, sure. So with Next Gen, the, the three things we can really push is better visuals, better physics, and better connectivity. So for the physics, this is really relevant for us because we have this huge ocean simulation and it's, it's the accuracy of, of the calculation that we can increase with more horsepower of the next-gen console. So how accurately the waves interact with the boats and also the player when he's swimming through them, that can be, that can be pushed further. The physics on, on land is also interesting. We have stalking zones where you move through bushes and now on next-gen, the physics of the leaves will move realistically to where Edward is. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is the freshest Assassin's Creed we've made since Assassin's Creed 1. This, this sense of exploration and this beautiful, varied open world with such a variety of activities. We have three wonderful cities, we have over 50 other locations, we have great naval combat, we have underwater diving, we've got naval forts to attack, we've got harpooning. The variety of the experience is just incredible. We can't wait for our gamers to play it. Hello Finnish gamers, we hope you enjoy Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag as much as we've enjoyed making it. <laughs> With this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I think I understand you. Let's take her then. For the citizens of Jackdaw.